Hi there, in this video I'm gonna talk about the procedure to set up locations for legal entity inventory org and business unit for Oracle Fusion SaaS Cloud implementation. So I've written a brief business scenario and you've got to remember that I have condensed the whole business scenario into a very short one just for easier understanding of the audience. So Basically, uh, I'm just taking this a dummy organization called Orange Corp, which is based in Auckland in New Zealand, uh, having its head office out there and it's got a branch office in Wellington. The countrywide main warehouses are located in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch, with Auckland and Wellington warehouses serving the North Island customers of New Zealand, whereas the Christchurch warehouse serves the South Island customers. Since the company is registered at the Auckland office, the address for its head office is the same as its registered legal entity address. So uh, basically we'll have just one address in Auckland and that will be used for uh, its legal entity and the second address is for its warehouse address. So in summary, we'll be setting up five locations with five different addresses. One for Auckland head office, which is where the registered office is based or at uh, in the company's registrar. And we'll be using the same uh, address. So all this is a mock scenario. And then we'll have a Wellington branch office, which is like an operating unit. So two operating unit, one in Auckland, one in Wellington with one legal entity registered at Auckland and three warehouses, which is uh, which are for Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. So going down, down the line, we'll be using all these uh, three warehouse addresses in our three different inventory organizations and associated uh, locations for them. All right, so let's get started by going to uh, Fusion Cloud instance. So here I am in Oracle Fusion SaaS Cloud instance. So before we proceed ahead, I'm going to quickly show you the release and version of this instance. So as you could see, we are on Oracle Fusion Cloud applications release 13 and uh, a version of uh, 23D, which is I believe is the latest version. Okay, so I'm going to close this. And in order to start defining the locations, you've got to search for a task called as manage locations. Okay, hit the search button and here it is manage locations. So click on this hyperlink and then you can uh, create a new uh, location manually or you can manage it in a spreadsheet. So you can define all your locations in a spreadsheet and upload them automatically. So in a realistic scenario, we'll have maybe hundreds of locations registered across worldwide organizations. So it is extremely difficult to manage it manually, okay, via the forms. So basically Oracle has provided this uh, uh, ADF uh, desktop integrator for you to upload it uh, via the spreadsheet into applications. So I've got a separate video in which I'm uh, demonstrating some functionality of that. Basically I faced some issue while, uh, uh, while leveraging the application de desktop integrator uh, user interface and the macros were not loading in Excel. So I have given the procedure to troubleshoot those issues. So have a look at that, but rest of the procedure is fairly simple in terms of uploading the uh, locations back into Fusion application via that uh, ADF spreadsheet. Okay. So I'm going to skip that part, but uh, do watch my other video. So it will get you some insights on ways to troubleshoot issues in relation to the ADI related ones. Okay, so I'm going to hit the uh, create button to create a new location and we'll follow the same procedure for creating all the five locations. So what I have done, I've also listed down all my locations for Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch, including the address to be defined for the registered company, which we call it as legal entity in Fusion applications. So I'm going to quickly show you those addresses in Excel file before we copy and paste the data in this form. So let me switch to Excel 
okay so as you could see here you see this is all i have defined so if you recall on the presentation slide this is what i have shown you you've got a auckland headquarters and the associated address of that auckland headquarters is over here okay so in the comments i have written what this address is for okay and on the same lines i have uh, written the wellington warehouse which is self explanatory so nothing in the comments but then you've got three warehouses over here auckland wellington and christchurch so i have just written in my comments that they are nothing but going to be used for inventory organization addresses in these three cities respectively all right so i'm going to take this particular address from here okay and i'm going to copy that and i'm going to go back to the locations form i'm going to define this and we'll follow the same procedure in forms to define remaining locations so let's go back there okay here am i and uh, in this case as you could see the effective start date if you were following my videos so while setting up the enterprise hcm information i have given the enterprise start date as 0101449 so therefore it is defaulting all those effective start date in all the forms as 010149 so i didn't want to take any chances i didn't have the exact uh, enterprise start uh, date so just to be on safe side i put in this but this you can always change and according to the change it will default to individual forms uh, the same date as the enterprise date and in the location set i have chosen common set it gets defaulted automatically and in the name i'm going to give a k l h o okay or you can write it a little bit bigger in the name if you like so here i'm going to join the code as a k l h o short and sweet and in the description i'm going to write right okay that is st status is active and once we define the inventory or we'll come back to those three separate locations that we are defining for inventory or and here we'll associate the newly defined inventory or over here so inventory or and the lo locations will tie back okay i'm going to scroll down now in the main address i'm going to choose uh, country as new zealand okay and then i'm going to give address line one as this and this auckland central and here i'm going to give auckland city okay and postal code 1010 okay okay in the email maybe you can write some email generic email uh, such as uh, Uh, such as info at orange dot co dot nz. Okay, something like this. And I'm going to come down, and here you've got further details, whether it's a ship to site, bill to site. Let the defaults as it is. Okay. Then it's an office site, indeed it is. And then I'm going to come down and see if there is any further information we got to provide. Okay, now this one is in relation to location related legislative information. If you have a separate trade name and uh, other details that you can provide it over here. And uh, this is all in relation to US, so I'm going to skip all that. And as you could see, most of them are in relation to US, Canada and France and India. Okay, so I think at this point I'm all set in terms of defining this new location. Okay, I'm going to hit the review button to review all the details that I have provided. Okay, if you're happy with the details over here, then you can simply go ahead and hit the submit button. So the request will be submitted. Do you want to continue? I would say yes.
and the request was submitted. Hit the OK button. And on the same lines, I'm going to create the remaining uh, locations. So let's go ahead and create the second location. So I'm going to go back and refer to the Excel file. So look at this. It is uh, Wellington main branch. So I'm going to go back to Fusion. So I'm going to give the same name, Wellington main branch. Code as same, but I will remove the space in between. I'm going to write the description. Okay, and then in the contact, I'm going to write New Zealand. And here, I'm going to copy the address from that Excel file that we have. So address is over here, 141 Wellington Central, Freeman's Bay. So I'm going to paste it over here. City is Wellington and postal code. So we'll copy it from the Excel, which is 1011. 1011. Okay, and remaining things, I'm going to leave it as it is. I, I will give some uh, details over here, say WLG at. Okay. And remaining details, I'll leave it as it is. And I'm going to hit the review button. And then I will hit the submit button. Same procedure. Okay. So this is a generic location that you have defined one for a legal entity and one for a branch office. Then I'm going to go ahead and define a location for the inventory org. So I'm going to click the create button. And here, I'm going to go here and go back here and pick up this location, Auckland Main Warehouse. And it's uh, 201 State Street, uh, Abondale. So I'm going to write the details over here. AKLMB, okay, Auckland Warehouse, Main Warehouse. And uh, I'm going to choose the country as New Zealand. City as Auckland. And postal code as 0600. Okay, and here I'm going to write AKLMB at orange.co.nz. Okay, and if you recall, I said, or uh, in fact, I talked about a little bit about whether this is going to be an inventory org or not, right? So I still remember that, but you need to come back to that once you define the inventory org and choose the associated inventory org so that this location and the inventory org will get tie up. Okay, so at this stage, since we don't have the inventory org, I'm going to leave this blank. But later in the setups, I will come back and make this change. Okay, so I'm going to hit the review button now. And I'm going to hit the submit button. And hit the yes button to continue. And hit the OK button. Okay, so just like this, I'm going to carry on and I will define the remaining two uh, locations. I'm going to go back to the Excel and show you. And these two locations are uh, for Wellington and Christchurch main warehouse. And as I said earlier, Auckland and Wellington will serve the North Island uh, customers, whereas uh, Christchurch main house will serve the South Island customers. So I will do that offline because now you know the process, how to do it. And it's nothing but the repetition, so which I can do it offline. So in short, this is the procedure in which you go and define locations in Oracle Fusion SaaS Cloud environment.